Hello and welcome to this chat view with Arthur Partridge and the English, English sisters. sisters. Hello Arthur, how are you this morning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am very well, thank you. Well, how are you? We're, we're fine. fine. We just had a lovely cappuccino and an English breakfast. And an English breakfast. Yes. Without the bacon, though. Without the bacon, just the egg on the, on the toast. Yeah. Egg we? on toast. Egg on Excellent. toast. Egg on toast and marmalade and jam. <laughs> and tea. Oh, and coffee. I'm, I'm feeling hungry now. <laughs> so, we've heard that you're the possibility strategist. Yes. That's what we were talking about the other day when we were chatting to you. Yeah. So would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Um, I did. What did I do? I did Landmark Forum in 1998. And I looked at the meaning of life and discovered there wasn't any. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's no meaning to life, then what's possible? According to Landmark, anything and everything. And then I sort of thought about that and thought, well, what is it you actually do? Yeah, I coach people. What do I actually do? And what I do is allow people to get that there's possibility. And then I've had my four strategies around that. Well, that's pretty wow, cool. Wow, that sounds interesting. So what you do is you actually give them choices? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not about decisions. It's all about choices. Mm -hmm. uh, choices come from nothing. Decisions come from something. Choices come from your unconscious. Decisions come from your conscious. Actually, you want people to come from their unconscious state, don't we? Well, yeah. That's where the real nothing is, and that's where all creativity is. Wow. Right. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of the problems nowadays are related to the fact that people do not realise how many choices they actually have. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And they're too rational about it, and sometimes yeah. they just need to jump. And needs a jump. So you sort of help them with that jump? Do you guide yeah. them along? Yeah, I, what I try to do is take away as much reason as I can. Because they come up with their reasons, they come up with their stories. I mean, you get the dreadful do do? normalizations, don't you? In NLP. Yeah. People normalize. Yeah, uh, these normalizations, goodness. Expand me. their language, as you would in NLP. But actually, what I tend to do is just get rid of the reasons. So and you're. Start creating some ones that really work for them. Yeah, so you're coaching them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the fun is in coaching people, actually watching the transformation that happens within them. And you, see, you see it in their faces immediately. Their yeah. faces just change, don't they? It, they do, they do. It's yeah. really miraculous. It's very uh, rewarding to see that. Mm. You know, for, for you it must be. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, it's what they then go on to create. The, the thing is... They then start looking at what they've done in the past and and things just change, you know. And they don't know why they're changing them and I don't know why they're changing them because it's all coming from the present moment. And in the present moment, it's the only moment you can create. So actually freeing people up from the past is something else. You can't have possibility if people are stuck in the past. Well, that's lovely. Isn't well, it? that is so. Yeah, and it is so difficult for people to actually live in the present without yeah. carrying with them the burden or whatever, their story, you know, sort of just living in the present. That's one of the hardest things, isn't it? Well, there you go. You see, you've hit it right in the, right in the head there. It's all about the story. They've created the story of their life. Yeah. And they think they're stuck with it, and they're not. They're not stuck it's with so it. It's actually all about creating the story that you want. That's right. It is. So do you actually believe in sort of, you know, giving them even some false happy memories we've heard that some people actually do this kind of thing now they sort of create false happy memories i'm not memories. sure about removing memories because i think if you take a memory away that is there's more than just the bad side to a memory there's a good side to a memory. that's right there's, yeah there's all sorts of things in a memory that i wouldn't begin to understand all i want to do is take away all that dramatic reason that holds that emotion in place yeah, that's right. So, All the emotional baggage that goes with yeah. the memory. So it's about disassociating, mm. really, yeah. from the memory mm. and looking looking at it differently. You know, it just happened. Let's look at the facts. It happened. You move the emotion from it temporarily. It happened. So let's just look at the facts. What is so, as landmarks say? 
So do you work uh, one-to-one with people? Do you like do uh, groups or workshops? Or Nowadays, a... I tend to do lots and lots of social media, as you're fully aware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some kind of guru in the social media. You know, well, you know all about what you. Joy, you see, that's my passion. So yeah, that's what I do. And then if clients come out of that, then great because I don't actively look for clients anymore. Well, they do tend to, don't they? Mm. I yeah. mean, we find that so, our uh, work sort of branches out into other areas. Yeah. So so people come to me nowadays, and they're usually stuck on an issue. Most people are only stuck on small issues. They, they appear to be quite large, but actually they're usually quite small. Um, and so what I get about that is they're not able to respond, That's which funny. means they are irresponsible. They're not able to respond. It doesn't mean to say they're silly, careless, immature no, no. or whatever. It just means they can't respond. They're That's stuck. Right. They're stuck. They're stuck. And so many people are stuck, aren't They've they? They've got like, they're glued. Yeah. They're glued to their story. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you start removing the reasons, you start removing the story, you get disassociated, you pull them back from it, you get rid of the normalisations, uh, things just occur. And that's where possibility exists in how things just occur. Well, that's so beautiful when that, that is happens. lovely, yeah. So I don't, I, I don't have a reason to go get clients. I just don't get clients. I don't <laughs> that's have a good, isn't just it? Let them come to me. <laughs> so actually, I have a hell of a lot of fun just playing around with social media. So, but I, I mean, the media bit, it's all about being sociable, yeah. as you two fully well know. <laughs> well, that's a bit we that's really enjoy. We really enjoy, enjoy being sociable yeah. because we've yeah. had so, you know, so many great friends mm-hmm. yeah. this way. So the socialising creates the relationships, the relationships creates the opportunity to influence, and it happens both ways, them Absolutely. to me, me to them. It does, it does. Well, um... Anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, I'm most entranced by this little chat yes, that we've had it. with Arthur. <laughs> we have gotten into a slight <laughs> trance. Yes, as you can see. you're also also a very able hypnotist, aren't you, Arthur? <laughs> I can be on occasions. <laughs> you do know how to use the voice, don't you? I do. You do, you do indeed. <laughs> you certainly do. We have but experience. But I have had some that's... great teachers, and I'm influenced by some great people. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. That really is, really is. Well, we'd like to catch up with you perhaps again, maybe next week. Yeah, quite soon. Yeah. See what you have. You got any uh, events going on for anyone? Um, no, the one I'm pushing at the moment is Mark Haley's event. Yeah. Mark Haley, wow. Mm. Advanced, advanced uh, therapeutic NLP specialist. Uh, Mark was. Uh, Francis with Richard Banner for about five years and I haven't really got a clue what this is about. It's based on Richard's uh, personal enhancement series. Wow, wow, yeah. Sounds interesting. And obviously if you haven't done it you wouldn't know but <laughs> I guess with Richard it's never what you expect. It, it never, never is. <laughs> it's always much so, more I think. Yeah, it's always more. Yeah. Whenever we've been to any of Richard Banner's trainings we've always got so much more. So much more. But yeah. <laughs> keep, and you keep, you keep having that ripple effect from the trainings for mm. so many years afterwards. It keeps popping up, doesn't it? It does, it does, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a good dream. Like a good dream. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now you're putting me in the trance. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem when we have these chats yeah. with our friends. They're all hypnotists. Yeah, <laughs> and so, you know, we do like going into trance. And as, as we do enjoy putting others into trance, so this, you know, these kind I'll of relaxing I'll, moments can occur. I'll go then. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. No, 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 no. no, no. All, All right, right then. then. We'll catch up with you next week then. Yep. Or in okay, a 10 days time, you. whenever. We'll, we'll catch up, Arthur. Lovely to talk to you. Okay, you bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.